everybody to a very revealing show, The Mass Singer. exactly who this is. What is up everyone? I am Chris Knight and you are watching The Real Review 3000 here with another episode of Unmasking the Masked Singer. Now, before we get to that, before we get to what might happen this week and what happened two weeks ago and all of that, let's talk some business first guys if you are just now coming to this channel for the first time please do me a favor smash that subscribe button hit the bell so you know when we're coming out with new stuff and smash that like button don't forget you can help us out by donating to our paypal or reach out to us on twitter at chris knight 5150 you can also email us chris knight at the real review 3000.com we're on patreon facebook instagram all sorts of places so let's get to two weeks ago and I was right about who they were going to vote off. I was wrong about who it was. Now, while all of the clues seem to point to Seth Green, I must admit I was not ready for Mark Sanchez, a former quarterback for the New New York Jets. Yeah, New York Jets. And, uh, I mean, of course, when everything was shown and you think about it, you're like, okay, yeah, he was at USC, Rose Bowl, Rose Parade, all of that stuff. It all made sense, but I mean, come on, Mass Singer, what are you doing? I mean, it seems so crazy to give us somebody that nobody expected. Now, I've heard some people say, oh, yes, 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 I knew it was him. Then why didn't you put it out there? There are tons of groups that talk about this stuff. There's tons of groups that speculate about this stuff, and none of them that I know of had anybody saying Mark Sanchez. I'm just gonna say that, but yes, we were wrong. So, so far, the first person to be voted off this season was Busta Rhymes as the Dragon. We did not guess on that because that was that first group, first day. Uh, we waited till the week after to start this. Um, the second week was the Gremlin, Mickey Rourke, and we, again, being the first week for Group B, we didn't guess on that. So our first guess was uh, the Giraffe, which we were right with, Brian Austin Green, which was in Group A, and then the Baby Alien, which we were right about who was going to get voted off in Group B. We were wrong about who it was. So currently we stand at one right, one wrong, one and one, 500, eh, okay, well, not too bad. but. Today, we're going to talk about Group C. Now, Group C, depending on what happens tonight when I'm recording this, which is Tuesday, we might see Group C tomorrow on Wednesday or after the World Series, depending on how this goes. I'm really not sure because if the World Series goes to Game 7, we may not get it this week. I haven't really heard exactly what they're going to do, if they're going to push it back a day or whatnot. But we're going to talk about Group C today no matter what, and we'll figure out what we're doing next week depending on what happens tonight with game six and if we get a game seven and all that stuff but let's talk group c uh group c the broccoli the jellyfish the lips the squiggly monster and the mushroom now again we're not going to guess who will get voted off because it's hard to do because I haven't heard anybody sing yet or know what songs they're singing or anything like that. So we're just going to talk about these guys. I don't have a lot of information. Um, I looked for it, but I didn't see any real big information except for some things that might give us a clue, a direction that we can go in guessing who they might be. So first off, let's talk about the broccoli. <clears throat> the broccoli, it says they're broccoli mean and a heart pumping machine that's how they got their six pack so 
I'm going to be saying that uh, it's definitely going to be some sort of a health fitness type person. Now, I don't know if it's going to be um, somebody from like The Biggest Loser or something like that, or if it's going to be like somebody who sells gym equipment on TV or something like that. Um, but it definitely sounds like it's going to be some sort of a health or fitness type person. That, that, so I'm going to kind of think that's where we're going with that. And again, until I know if they're male, female, who, what they sound like or anything like that, I can't make a guess. But I'm going to definitely say by that, I'm going to guess health and fitness. That's where I'm going with that. Uh, the jellyfish, it says that they assure you that while they may be cold-blooded, they have a warm and glowing flow with H2O. So, warm, glowing flow with H2O. So, perhaps, perhaps a swimmer with a kind heart. Um, I know a lot of people have guessed a few other people might be Michael Phelps. We know that there are people with gold medals perhaps we're going to get Michael Phelps in this. I don't know. That's just a guess. And uh, I'm going to go with possibly a swimmer. And since we know there's Olympic medalists, perhaps somebody like that. Now, up next is the lips. The lips, it says, if you want to hint about them, it's that they own who they are. They know their voice can go high, but my dishes go deep. Now, when I hear dishes go deep, I think somebody like, a, I don't know, a chef or something like that. And I'm thinking possibly pizza, maybe somebody who's known in like pizza circles. I don't know. That sounds crazy, but maybe something like that because of the deep dish and things like that. Um, but I'll go more chef. I'm just going to try to go that maybe maybe a cake designer because dishes deep dishes maybe i don't know again gotta know the sound the person male female all that stuff we'll figure that out as we go along maybe they might be the first people that go away i don't know um next up the squiggly monster it says that um it's very fitting that they have so many appendages because they are known for having a lot of hands to latch onto. Um, hands to latch onto. I'm not really sure about that one. Um, hands, clocks, things like that. Maybe uh, somebody in some sort of racing. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think. But I really can't get too many uh, good ideas of where that might go. So we'll have to see about that. Uh, yeah, but obviously something maybe to do with um, a larger group of people. Maybe they're head of an organization or something, perhaps. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to find out. Uh, the, the mushroom is next. It says, in order to know who's behind the mask, you need to figure out who's under their hats. So perhaps some sort of a designer um, or somebody in the fashion world, or again, perhaps somebody that has something to do with an organization that's known for their hats. I mean, there's several organizations out there, but uh, nothing that really definitely strikes me as what it might be. Now we know a lot of singers, a lot of the people who've been on here have uh, secondary um, hobbies per se, that um, they're designers, they do this, they do that, you know. So we'll have to see what they sound like, who they are, male, female, all that, like all the other ones. But um, I'm hearing under their hats, meaning maybe, like I said, some sort of fashion person, designer, I don't know. Those are kind of my guesses in the directions we're going to go. We'll find out who gets voted off on Group C. We'll talk about next week if they do the Mass Singer this week. If not, and they move it to next week, we will talk about it sometime in a couple weeks. So, with that said, guys, um, let me know what you think from the uh, clues. This is what I found online that I that of clues. If you know more of the clues for these 
people in Group C, let me know. Let me know also what you think about Mark Sanchez being the baby alien. I mean, if you know somebody that knew it was him, great. We didn't. <laughs> Anyways, guys, remember to do me a favor. If you're coming here for the first time, smash that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you know when we're coming out with new stuff. Smash that like button. Consider helping us out with a PayPal donation. Reach out to us on Twitter at ChrisKnight5150. Email us, ChrisKnight at TheRealReview3000.com. Facebook, Instagram, Pat Patreon, all sorts of places we're spreading our wings all over the place. Don't forget also, guys, I don't talk about this very much, but please check out Chaos Central, another channel that we run. That's youtube.com, or no, youtube.chaoscentral.com. youtube.chaoscentral.com. Check that out, please. Subscribe over there, too. We do some great discussion screens discussion streams and we got a lot more coming up over there so guys with that said i am chris knight this has been the real review 3000's unmasking the mass singer hopefully you guys give me some great information down in the comments i greatly appreciate it have a nice day hey guys thanks for checking us out be sure to subscribe to both channels and make sure to check out our friends in the fandom minutes you can find us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and BitChute. And you can also send us an email at sean at seanstackhousereacts.com and chrisknight at therealreview3000.com. Be sure to swing by our Teespring store to pick up some awesome merchandise.